Hello and welcome back to Nerly Nerds. Today I am very disappointed. Now I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Enlisted Leaf and his new venture, the box break with StockX and PSA. Now for anyone who is aware of this and there's a cat who is interested in my attention, anybody who is aware of this would have seen that it is an extreme, extreme ripoff. It is really bad. Now he is charging sorry will i throw away a cat he is charging 50 i think 52 bucks or 50 pounds it's either 50 or 52 pounds whatever is the correct number i'll put it by here for a chance to be a part of his box break now if you guys are you know big in the pokemon community and i assume you must be because you're watching me and i assume you would know enlisted leaf you would also know that logan paul did something very similar with his big box break of his first edition box. However, he charged a huge amount of money and all of the money, as far as I'm aware, all of the profits went to charities, as far as I'm aware. However, this situation isn't anything like that. This is a situation where you get to pay for a ticket to be a part of this event. And if you put Enlisted Leaf here and Logan Paul here, their pull, in general, just is not comparable. So if you were, for example, buying a ticket into Logan Paul's event, that was going to give you a good bit of marketing, good bit of push. People would have heard of you because that is going to get a huge amount of views. However, you compare that with Enlisted Leafs video and chances are this is going to be 400,000 people tops maybe 500,000 people. If this hits a million views, we'll all be shocked. I think even you guys would be shocked. This isn't a crazy opening. This isn't something that's elaborate and amazing. This is celebrations, which we can all get our hands on. And he is charging £50 for three packs. Now, some crazy people out there may turn around and say, well, you also get a signed leaf energy. It's not worth £50. So you get, for the price of £50, now we'll break this down so I can get some sort of argument against this because if I'm being honest with you, I think it is absolutely disgusting. I was a big fan of Enlisted Leaf. I will probably be unsubscribing from his channel. I'm not very happy with this. I think this is a huge scam. I think to promote something like this to your audience, knowing that your audience are probably, you know, fairly young and will 100% turn around to their mums and dads and say, mum, can I have money to be a part of this big event with this YouTuber that I'm a big fan of and probably be paid for? These kids will probably get their parents to pay for these tickets, but they get three packs of cards. So for £50 or £52, whatever it is, you get three packs of Celebrations cards. Now, if these were regular TCG packs, it's still a rip-off because, I mean, if you look at the price of... The celebrations packs at the moment, they're going for around £5, maybe £6, around the £5 mark. However, regular packs tend to go for around £4. And once they're out of print or once they're a little bit rarer, they obviously then start shooting up and shooting up and shooting up. Celebrations has been around for this week. And I know some of you are saying it's not out yet. It is out in some places. Some places have got it. I've seen a lot of people opening the products. I've seen a lot of shops selling it. It is available at the moment. And it's fairly widely available. Don't get me wrong. It's not crazy, crazy, crazy printed. And it will be eventually. But at the moment, it's not. But £50 for three packs is a complete and utter rip-off. That is more than £16 per pack. That is unbelievably just... I just don't agree with that whatsoever. Well, then there is another argument that defends Enlisted Thief. Which is the top 20 cards that are pulled will be sent off to PSA and graded for free. It's not free. It's not free because if you take a breakdown of the price, which I'll do right now, so three packs of celebrations, maximum £16. So £5.20 each, maximum of £16. Sorry, the cat's trying to go. So if you take celebrations packs, three packs of celebrations, maximum you're going to be paying £16. Okay, so £16 right here. Then you want to say that you can get your card graded. Well, that's a great thing. But essentially, every single card, 
pull. Every single person's best pull should be graded for them. Because if you look at PSA, the average price for a card being graded, especially when sent in a bulk order, is around 20, maybe 25 pounds. So essentially, if you went out and bought three packs of celebrations and wanted to grade your best card from those three packs, you would, it cost you less. It cost you 10 pound less than what this is gonna cost you. Granted, you do get a signature on a Leaf Energy, but you don't get your card graded. Only the top 20 do. So that extra buffer of money, where's that going? Well, I'll tell you where it's going. It's going in the pockets of StockX, Ando, and PSA. It's a hell of a money maker, to be honest with you. But this is the thing. It's a difficult one. I don't want this to be a witch hunt. I'm not going out here to go at Unlisted Leaf and act like he's a complete arsehole. If I'm being honest with you, I, I doubt that he's making that much money from this. My assumption is StockX is going to be making a chunk because StockX seems like a place that only exists for scalpers and charging scalping prices. StockX was a site that, when I was younger, was a really cool concept. You get trainers that you couldn't get elsewhere. And yeah, they charge a bit of a premium price, but it was always really cool because it felt like you were getting a premium product for the premium price. Nowadays, StockX is just scalpers united. Like it is just scalpers. That's all StockX is nowadays. So I don't really want to be pushing StockX. I don't really want to be promoting PSA because like I said in the past, PSA are a bit of a, you know, edgy brand that I'm not really sure how I feel about. PSA have got a hell of a lot of power in this TCG community and that scares me. And to be honest with you, Enlisted Leaf has a lot of power in the Pokemon TCG and this worries me. If someone like Enlisted Leaf is going to do this, then it doesn't stop anyone else from doing it. And I know you've got people like PokeRev who do box breaks all the time. But if you look at PokeRev's website, the prices are fair. They're far more fair than anything like this. So I'm disgusted. You should be disgusted. As a community, we should be very vocal about this. Don't go giving him abuse. Don't go giving anyone abuse. This isn't go shout at people. I don't want you all going out and thinking you're all Rocky Balboa and you all want to go start a fight with the enlisted leaf. This is just something that we should verbally tell people that we're not okay with this. This isn't something that the Pokemon community should be known for. Every time a new product comes out, we're all being, being flashed these mad prices that we should all not be paying for these products because of random people wanting to make a quick buck. Don't get me wrong, most people do it. If you can make an extra penny, then they probably will. But I just don't I just don't like this, if I'm being honest. I really don't like that they're charging £50 for three packs of Pokemon cards. It's beyond me. If you if you wanted to spend £50 on Celebrations products, you could come away with both of the Sylveon and Charizard celebration packages the dark sylveon and the lance's charizard and that would come with i think 12 packs maybe eight i can't remember it's either eight or 12 whatever it is either way way more than what you're getting now that actually costs you less than 50 pounds that's like 53 54 pound so why on earth would you pay 50 pound just for three packs of celebrations and a signed leaf card i don't i don't know the worst thing is Anyone can go on Friday and be a part of the live stream and win stuff for free anyway. That part, I'm all for. Way to go for that. I'm all up for that. But the £50 for a ticket, I just think it's disgusting. So that's all this is. This is me having a rant. I don't want this to be a witch hunt. Don't go sending a boost to everyone. This is a positive community that it just means that sometimes you need to be verbal about these things. And this is a disgusting act, if I'm being honest. This is not worth anywhere near 50 pounds if you charge 25 pound i'd be like yo guys get out there ando's doing something really cool 50 pound is an absolute scam so go and have a wonderful week i'll see you guys tomorrow with a new opening um i have got celebrations on pre-order so friday we're gonna have celebrations right here it's gonna be incredible can't wait but yeah go and have a wonderful week i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you very much for joining cheers if you enjoyed that video why not subscribe if you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks.